Please make it a CMS and while working with it, we create documents. Once on our website, we need those documents to map to URLs. To tackle that, Prismic provides us with the root resolver. It's a powerful tool that allows us to define linking rules for each of our documents. Hey, Lucy here from Prismic Developer Experience team. Today I'm gonna show you how to resolve common link structures using the root resolver and even how to tackle international links. Let's get into it. For today's video, I'm using Vite, but the root resolver works the same way for all frameworks. Here, I'm fetching all documents from my repository, so what's left for us to do is to resolve a link for each of those. To do so, we'll be using the root resolver. The root resolver takes the form of an array that you provide to your clients like this. And then, to that array, you provide a linking rules for each document type that you want to resolve to a URL. So if we'd like to start with the pages document type, here we provide a rule and we target with the type page. And then we define the path for it, which will be forward slash colon UID in order to map the about page to forward slash about and the home page to forward slash home. Great, so let's do the same thing for services document type. So again, I'm defining a new linking rule with an object. This time I want to target the service document type. And for this path, I want it to be prefixed with some static string. To do so, I'm just adding my static string to the path and then using the for slash colon UID to again append my UID at the end of the path. And this allows me to resolve my services document type to for slash services for slash investment in the case of this first document. Okay, so let's resolve our last document type, which is the post document type. To do so, let's have a first look at one of these documents inside Prismic. As you can see here, this type of document contains a content relationship to a taxonomy. And I want this content relationship to appear in my result URLs. For example, I want it to be for slash post, for slash experience, for slash on-site maintenance in the case of this document. So let's do this using the root resolver. To do so again, I'm defining a new rule using an object. And here I want to target the type of post. And then, as I said, my path, I want it to be forward slash post, forward slash colon taxonomy, forward slash colon UID. But this won't work by default because the root resolver doesn't know what taxonomy is. And to make it work, I need to give a hint to the root resolver about what taxonomy is. And to do so, I add another property, which is the resolver's property. And here I say that like taxonomy will be the value of the taxonomy content relationship inside my document. So I can save that here. And now, as you can see, my post document type have been resolved to for slash post, for slash experience, for slash on-site maintenance. So we've done resolving URLs for each of our document type, but I promise to you that we'll be touching on internationalization. To do so, let's first update my query to create documents in all languages. And now, as you can see, we now have documents available in the pirate language. And what we want here is to update our URLs to add the lang as a prefix on each of them. And how we do that is by updating our path inside our root resolver to add this forward slash colon lang as a prefix on each of them. And if I save that, we can now see that each of my URLs have been prefixed with the lang of each document. Great. So we've seen how to resolve links, prefix them, or even base them on other documents' relationships. We've also seen how to resolve those links in the case of a multi-link website. If you want to learn more about the root resolver, check out its documentation, linked in the description below. That's all for today for me. Thanks for watching. Hey, Lucy here. If you liked that video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you have a question, we are here for you in the comment section below. Also, we're creating similar tutorials regularly and premiere them with live Q&As. If you don't want to miss out on them, don't forget to subscribe.